am Lisa. And I'm Jonathan. And we're Creative for Learning. <laughs> Today, we're going to continue on with our series, How to Leave on Time and Never Take Papers Home Again. And we are going to share the secret of how to always get the most important things done every day. I've heard this concept a number of ways from a number of different people over the years. Stephen Covey, the author of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, uh, he talks about putting the big rocks in first, and he gives an example, which we'll give you later. Jim Collins, author of Good to Great, and Patrick Lencioni, author of many fantastic leadership books. They talk about choosing three big rocks to focus on. And so today we're going to combine both of these metaphors and give you an example to look at. We've all likely experienced the feeling of reaching the end of the day and being bummed that we didn't get everything done that we wanted to. And we often have things, even a couple big things, that we just never got around to and they really need to get done. And so then either if you're like me, you might get your second wind after everyone's asleep and try and get them done. But then that starts that vicious cycle of the next day you're exhausted and then you're not getting as much done and then it just becomes a vicious cycle. Um, but hopefully there's a way to get them done and let's look at a simple but powerful strategy to make sure we get those important things done. Yeah. So this one's from Cubby's book, like I mentioned earlier. Um, where's our jar? Here we get this table here. We're going to illustrations today. Hey. Look at this. Let's get this all so we don't spill. It's pretty good right there. All right. So this jar right here is going to represent our day. This is everything that we haven't done yet, right? This is going to be our day, and we're going to fill it up with what we're going to do. It's a fresh opportunity or a burden, depending on where you're at in that cycle, right? And uh, depending on how we're feeling about it, yeah. So if we're not careful, strategic, even like defensive, um, our promising empty day gets filled up quickly and before we know it, it's over, right? And we have all these things left over and we're like, ah, how do I do it? Because they're really important. Like you said, you know, we have to get those things done. Mm -hmm. so, so you said the word defensive, you mean like territorial in, in a game? Okay. Yeah. Like territorial, like, cause other people come and try to fill up our day and mm -hmm. I have to go, no, 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 this, this is, it. so we're, we're going to talk about what that looks like. So, yeah. Um, so we're going to give you the example like Covey did of the big rocks, right? And so if this is our day, we're going to talk about, um, yeah, putting these in, right? So, um, back in episode 12, we showed you how to make a daily schedule. <laughs> Try not to break this it. This is going to go deeper on that. We need to put our big priorities in first. These are our big rocks, right? And... <laughs> oh, oh, dude, the jar is cracking. This is awesome. Um, that's how our day feels sometimes, right? Uh, uh, we need to make sure we can fit them in, okay? Look at that crack right there. Can you see that? That is awesome, right? Uh, so we got to fit our big rocks in first. Um, give them, and so earlier when we talked about schedules, we give them time slots. Like actually put, like before you start your day, sit down, do a schedule, and fit your time slots in so that they fit. And so that they don't shatter your day later on. <laughs> um, be realistic with the amount of time you need for them to fit in so that you can get them in. And remember, um, keep your number of rocks few or they really aren't big rocks, right? Yep. What do we got next here? Um, after you've given these all their, their own time slot, then you fill in your day with the smaller priorities, the smaller rocks. Right? These are smaller little priorities that you have to do. Um, and notice, notice now you have room for them. These could be conversations or errands or even other people coming and saying, hey, can you do this for me today? And uh, those can fill up your day really quickly if you're not careful. And look at that, we even made it to where we can't fit stuff down in that part of the day. That's a good metaphor for a whole part of the day that's just gone. <laughs> um, they, they could be unpredictable and unplanned events that happen. They're going to fill in the rest of the spots, whether you like it or not, right? They just fill them in. 
Um, the key is that these smaller ones shouldn't bother you as much because look, I already got the bigger ones in. Like they're in there right? They're done. Um, and if people are asking for your time when you're supposed to be doing your big rock, you say no, right? You can kindly say it no, like you don't have to be a jerk, but you have to say no because otherwise you're not going to get them in there, right? If they come with these smaller rocks first and are asking for your time, you know I'm going to be bummed at the end of the day if I don't get those things done. I have to be territorial right now. That's what I meant by that, right? And you can be kind. And you say, um, sorry, I can't do that right now, but I really want to help you with that. Can I help you at and give them the time? Because you looked at the time earlier, right? Or say, I have a time scheduled earlier when I can help with that. Can uh, I get back to you then? I'll go to my room and I'll look up when that is and I can get back to you. It may seem like you're being a jerk at first, but you're actually not. They'll respect you for it. They'll walk away and go, wow, that person has their day scheduled, right? And it's not about looking good to other people, but just know that this is loving. You express to them that you want to help them, but you can't right now. Right, and that's that's fair and loving. Mm -hmm. They can't just come in and demand your time. Mm -hmm. um, even with your administrators, I know some of us are in districts that, um, and at schools where they're really really tough. Um, do your best with this, right? Um, lovingly say, hey, can I see you at 3:15, and we can talk about that. I really need to get this thing done right now, or I won't feel good about my day. And what are they going to say? No, you need to do this right now. I want you to feel bad about your day later. <laughs> like They're not going to do that. And so just express your feelings. And you can even start spreading a, a language on campus of how to talk like this. Um, and so give them the time because you actually know the time is there. And then there's even more time to the day, isn't there? Let's see how this works, right? Um, see all that space in there? Is that going to pour with those rocks like that? We'll see. We haven't done this yet. Look at that. Right? Look at here. I'm gonna hold it. Here, I'll hold it for you. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it doesn't come out of our crack. <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> We're doing it. There we go. Doing it slowly. I feel like if I shake this, we might. Um... Oh, don't put it too high. There we go. There we go. I'll just rattle it in there. And see how much time there is in our day, right? Look at that. Yeah, get more. Get more. We can yeah. put more in. We can even fill more in our day. What? Crazy. We got this whole pile over here. I'm going to tilt it this way so it pours down in this little, this little section, this cavity. You're good at shaking it. <laughs> I'm going to let you keep That's shaking what she it. Says. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're getting the, the metaphor here, right? Um, the rest of our minutes always fill in. They always do. I mean, you've never gone home at the end of the day and felt huh, I had so much extra time today. None of it was filled in. It all fills in. And then actually, we're not going to do this right now, <laughs> largely because we have cracks in our jar. But we could, even, <laughs> we could even then pour water in here, right? And it would fill up all the other parts that are small pebbles and sand and everything didn't fill in because our days will fill completely up and they're gone like that, right? Um, every little cranny will fill in. So what do we have here? What is this? What are we going to call this? Right, I'm, still, I'm still you're having fun, more. I am having still, more. <laughs> this is what a well-structured day looks like. It feels good. And if all of our days, or let's just give us grace and say many, if many of our days look like this, we'd end up feeling good at the end of the day about our time. And we'd feel the freedom to not work after hours at home when we really want to be resting or playing with family and friends and doing whatever we want, not what the work wants. So, and then also it helps prevent that vicious cycle that I talked about before where you don't get the things done that you need to get done. So there you're thinking about it the next day or staying up late trying to get them done and then you have that vicious exhaustion cycle going on. If you're getting the big things done, then the little rocks most likely are things that you can postpone to the next day. And then they're just, I think you've done the to-do list where you have um, on your desk, you'd already write, like at the end of your day, you yeah. write the things that you need to do tomorrow first thing. Because the little rocks might end up becoming the big rock for the next day, but then you're always getting the big rocks done. Yeah. 
And, and it's those big rocks that have most of our emotions attached to them, right? They're the ones that really are going to make us feel good and rested. So we have to get those done first. The little rocks aren't as important to our emotions and our psyche. And the sand certainly isn't, right? And if we filled it with water, that's just nothing. That Like, we don't care about that stuff. In fact, those things are kind of even negatives. They really are. And those are the negative emotions because they're filling up our day and not letting us put our big rocks in. That's why those feel negative. And, but the thing is, is once I get all of my big ones in here, I'm like, yeah, you know, the rest of the day is always going to fill up. I get it, right. but I felt good at the end because the big mm -hmm. ones are in there. And then even my, like my littler mid-sized ones that I care about. Okay, so let's start over and see what our days look like if we don't prioritize and schedule them. And I'm, hopefully this won't break. Or maybe, hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. Since it cracked during our first So, uh, we walk in, this is what a day normally looks like, right? Something like this. Um, and if this is partially you, please don't feel judged by you because we've had this too. Uh, so we walk into the office and then maybe we go check our email and this is Little Rocks or Sand. Someone talks to us, it's like a Little Rock, right? It's kind of important. Um, we talk around the coffee pot or coffee machine because we don't want to go get started quite yet because remember we're exhausted from the day before. More sand. More sand. Here we go. Um, then school starts and we're teaching. Those are little rocks. I mean, we want every, everybody wants us to call that the big rock, but we're going to get that done no matter what. So that's not really what we're talking about for our conversation. Then we get to our planning period and we often check our email again first. More little rocks, lots of sand. <laughs> Uh, before we get started even on our big rock, uh, our first big rock for the day. Um, but planning period is always too short, so after about 10 or 15 minutes working on that big rock, we're back to teaching, little rocks, and interruption, sand, then at lunchtime maybe we're feeling unmotivated, and uh, do we just want to chill and chat, that's more sand, and then we excuse ourselves from the teacher's lounge with about 15 minutes left to go get something done because we need that big rock, right? Um, maybe using some little rocks and then there's more teaching little rocks then after school uh, we might have supervision which is definitely sand and a surprise parent visitation sand maybe little rocks then we finally get around to that big thing from earlier in the day and uh, we're so tired right at that point and maybe we're not even motivated to do it because so much of our day has already been filled up and we feel like we didn't get anything done and we're already ready to go home and call it quits and come back tomorrow and try again. But the problem is we're gonna come back and try again tomorrow with the same non-strategy and it's gonna end up likely the same way. I felt that way for years and years. Um, so you can obviously see that by this point, here, take that up closer over there, carefully. carefully. <laughs> by this point in the day, um, you can see our, there's like not even any room for our big rocks. And I still have two over here that didn't even get in the day. And we, can we even really count these two on the top that are like, what, as we're walking out the door? Right, so maybe we got that one big rock in and it maybe didn't feel as good as it should have because all of that other stuff filled in. And we know this feeling, right? We totally know this feeling. Um, when, when Covey explained this to me and I, when I was reading his book, I just went, that is exactly how it feels. Um, and this, I think, is why I often worked at home. After school, I'd go home and I'd take work home because I still had all these Cause, to get done. Because that's how many we used in the first illustration. Yeah, this is how many were in that first jar. They all fit before. The problem is now they don't fit because we did them in the wrong way, right? Well, and I'm not taking my hand off because it feels like it's bulging. I think the actual like vase is going to crack. It's going to crack. That's I, a great metaphor. I, I know. I was for... holding it realizing like, oh my gosh, that's how we feel sometimes. We're it's just going to totally... crack and lose it all. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then with all of these, we go back to work the next day and start off often sluggish because we tried getting more of these done at home, which sacrificed other parts of our life with family and friends and relaxation. Um, this is just a crazy cycle and it has to start right here with our big rocks. Otherwise it's just, I mean, you can see it just doesn't work. This feels to me so much like those, those days where I didn't get so much done. So let's remember to do it this way because it'll feel so good. Then we'll get to go home and relax, not worrying that the important things didn't get done. So conversation of the day. What are your two to three rocks for today? Two to three. That's it. What so are they? Go and keep being awesome.